of community, the idea of gardening with kids is always an adventure. As you can see right down here, there is a dead cucumber plant. Why? Because we didn't cold frame them. So, what I want you to see, if you come over here to our other garden, is what does it mean to cold frame your vegetables early on? I am Sam Groff of Omnibus Services, and here to just do gardening with kids with you. So, if you look down here, we showed you this before, but it is a really simple method. And you literally cut your plastic container off at the bottom so that you have a hole at the top and you leave the hole open and you can see how well this plant is flourishing. This is one of our four zucchini plants that we cold framed to make sure that they would stay viable. And we had some temperatures get really, really low, not freezing, but we had our temperatures get really low in the last couple nights. And because they had this cold frame on them where they've been so warmed all day long from the sunlight, they were able to keep and retain the heat overnight. And over here we have the same concept with a butternut squash. And again, we just took a simple um, orange juice or lemonade, I think was this one, container, and we cut off the bottom piece to make sure we had a cold frame. Now. What's interesting about these cold frames is that they are reusable every year or if they start to die because they're plastic and they're going to just fall apart in being exposed to the sun, you can get rid of these at the end of the year. But now you've used the same thing multiple times in multiple different ways and the nice part about it is you can use the bottom of your milk jug or your soda can, uh, soda or your... Um, orange juice container as the seed starters. So you can put your seed soil and the seeds directly in there and you will have an immediate cold frame. It makes transplanting a lot easier and you won't have the death and destruction like we did with our cukes. The nice part about cukes though is that we can just re-sow seeds directly into the soil right now because it's in April where we are and it will get warm enough soon that it will let those plants then germinate fully and be much stronger outside. We'll have to take these off here soon because as you can see with our zucchini plants they are really getting strong and what we want to do is we want to make sure that they are able to survive uh, in the cooler weather. So what we're, we're going to do is we're going to leave these covered for about another week to two weeks to the end of April if not a little sooner depending on how warm we get and then we'll pop those cold frames off and it will be good to go and the plants will be able to thrive. So again, we've got this everybody. Gardening with kids may sound crazy and daunting, but you've got this. Let's go.